Hi friends, Susanna here today and today we're going to be sewing up the Smooth Anti-Chafing Slip Shorts. These are really, really great. I love that these are coming in right now um, for a pattern because I love wearing these type of shorts under my dresses always. And I can't always find them at the store or get like my size correctly or something like that. So I was so excited when I saw this coming down the pipeline and I was like, yes, this is something that I need and I need to make 10,000 of these. I love these to wear, like I said, under a dress, like in spring or summer. If the dress is a little bit shorter and you want to have coverage, you can wear them. There's uh, a few different lengths, so you can choose your length on what you feel comfortable with. There's uh, two different rise. There's the mid rise and then the high rise, which I'm going to be working on the high rise because that's more tummy control and I love that. Um, and these are also great for biking or exercising or even lounging around the house. So I am making all kinds of pairs. I'm gonna make a pair that matches my uh, cami that I made. Um, and this is gonna be like a lounging set for around the house, but it can also be something that you wear under an outfit to help you feel more comfortable and confident to seize the day. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started. I've got my back piece. I've got my gusset liner and my gusset mane. I've got my front piece. And what we're going to do is we're gonna start with the gusset and I'm gonna grab my front piece and I'm gonna mark the center of my crotch area here. And I'm just gonna do a little clip with my scissors here, or you can mark it with a clip or however you want to. And I'm gonna grab my gusset, my main gusset, and I'm also going to mark the center of that gusset because what we're going to do is we're gonna line them up and match them right sides together. Okay, once I've matched it there, we're gonna go all the way down to one side and then down to the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and baste these together, the uh, gusset with the front, with the front uh, pant, the front of the short, sorry, front panel. All right, I'm gonna baste it with just a straight stitch on my sewing machine. Long straight stitch. I'm just lengthening my stitch to a five and basting those together. All right, so now as you can see, this has been sewn on. I'm opening to the wrong side. This is my uh, gusset here. We're gonna grab our gusset liner and we're gonna find the half of the gusset liner as well, and then we're gonna match it up with the wrong side, the right side of the gusset liner to the wrong side of the shorts. So that way we're kind of putting it like the same way that we did the outer, but on the other side. So they're going to be, when you flip it over, you're gonna be able to see both of the right sides. So the shorts are basically sandwiched between the two gussets, the main and the liner, and we're gonna go ahead and place it right there and then sew it with a stretch stitch on my sewing machine or on my serger. I'm gonna use my serger, um, but if you don't wanna have a serger, if you wanna use your um, sewing machine with a stretch stitch, you can do that. But remember, it has to be a stretch stitch because this is gonna stretch when you wear it. Um, so then we're gonna go ahead and do that. When you sew that, you should be able to flip both of your uh, gussets down and see you'll see the right side on the front and you'll see the right side on the back of the gusset. All right, so when we turn it around, we've got this gusset here. As you can see, here's the, you, this, the good thing about this is you don't want the seam touching you, so it will be covered on the inside, so you will not have that seam on, the, on, the, uh, on, your, on your skin. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna put, repeat the process essentially with the back uh, panel. So we're gonna grab that and mark the center first of the crotch seam. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna grab the right side. So here's my front panel. Here is my outer, this is my main piece here, the one that we've sewed on first, that we sewed onto the right side, right side's touching. We're gonna grab that, we're gonna find the half of it, of that outer gusset, the main gusset. And so now we're gonna match that up, right sides together, and do the same thing. We're gonna match it up, right sides together, and baste it on our sewing machine. All right, let's go baste that on. All right, so now that we've 
basted this on. So here's the basted side. Here is the um, other side of the uh, gusset. And we're gonna grab, this is, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, here's our front of the short, and we're gonna kind of roll it, because we're gonna tuck that in so that we have this gusset here is gonna match with here where the lining of the other side of the gusset is. This is the outer gusset, so we're gonna line it to the back. So let me match the center, find the center of the gusset liner. And we're gonna match up the gusset liner to the gusset. So this is the other side of the shorts. This is the main gusset over here. So we're lining up on the other side. So basically the two gussets would be facing each other with the shorts in between. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew them together. It's like a little burrito roll here because then when we flip this open you'll see the magic now the one good thing about using clips is that if you're not sure you're like oh i don't know if this is going to work or not oh that one clip came undone you can slowly and softly turn it around and you will see that once you sew it right now it's just clipped together but once you sew it you'll have the inside you'll have uh, the inside of your shorts you'll have this nice um, inside and it's flush you have no seams and then on the other side this is the outer side you also have no seams there you see that so that's how you know that you did that correctly now you know obviously I have to unclip it and and sew it but that was just if you're like I'm not sure if I did this correctly you can flip it and make sure and see that it looks correctly and then you said oh I did do that correctly I should have gone ahead and trusted myself or uh, you know and um, and just sewn it but you know we just want to make sure but anyway once again we've got here's where our seam is here here's our other side and here's our lining I mean our this is not the lining. this is the uh, uh, the well I guess it, it is called a lining it's over here and we're rolling this front so it's kind of like out of the way and this back is also out of the way so we're rolling it together and we're matching up this lining gusset to the center there where we have basted the other gusset so that the gusset one more time the gusset main is touching right sides together with the gusset liner and you have in between the layer of your shorts here all right let's go sew that together all right now that that's finished sewing we're gonna flip it all around this is what your inside should look like and this is what your outside should look like now we're gonna match those side seams we're gonna match the side seams, right sides together and sew with a stretch stitch. All right, while I'm over there doing that, I'm also going to grab my elastic, face it right sides together and sew with a stitch here on the inside about a half an inch away from the edge. I'm gonna do it with like a triple stitch here and sew it together, right sides together. All right, so now that I've done that triple stitch here, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna fold those two edges down and tack those sides down with, you could do a zigzag stitch, I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch on there and zigzag stitch them down. So you can see right there is one side and then we're gonna do the same on the other side. And I did do them white so you can really see them, but you obviously want to do it the color of your fabric and um, you won't be able to see it. All right, now comes the part where we attach the elastic to our waistband, to our waist, and we could do that two different ways. First of all, for both ways, the first thing we have to do is we're gonna to have to find our centers. We have our sides here. We're gonna find our centers by matching our sides. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our waistband. We're gonna go from that center, go to the front, 
and then match the front and back and go to the sides and now we've got our quarters now the two different ways you can do this is you can attach it right sides together like so and when it's attached you'll fold it and it'll be like this you'll be able to see the inside like like that but you can uh, top stitch later if you want that's one way of doing it the second way of doing it is to place it right over well I lost my front clip there it is place it right on top of the of your fabric like so and then pin it mark mark your quarter inch seam allowance here so you know exactly where to pin this fabric to we're gonna pin the fabric and then we just zigzag stitch it on like that um, I find that that's a little bit more steps for me because I'll have to go ahead and mark it and all that stuff so I prefer to do the method where I just put it right on top and then we fold it and fold it over and then I'll top stitch that down it does not bother me to do that but it's up to you however you want to do it either way works just fine and either way would give you a really nice end result so I'm just gonna sew it by attaching right sides together I'm gonna attach it right sides together um, and I'm gonna attach it right sides together with a stretch stitch and I'm just gonna use my um, serger still um, just making sure I don't cut any of the elastic then I'm gonna flip that over and that serger edge will be on the inside and we can go over to your sewing machine and just top stitch it from this side if you wanna top stitch it um, or you don't have to top stitch it if you don't want to but that is up to you. I may go ahead and top stitch it on my cover stitch after when I'm actually doing my hem at the end. As I'm sewing this on, I'm stretching that elastic to fit and I'm making sure that it's not going to be cut on my knife. All right, so this is what the inside looks like with my serge edge and I'm gonna flip that over. Like I said, now you can go ahead and top stitch that down if you want or leave it. Um, I don't mind it, but you can top stitch it. I might go top stitch it on my cover stitch, like I said, or you could do a zigzag stitch to cover stitch that. And then we're going to hem with a half an inch seam allowance here at the bottom. I'm just clipping all these serger tails because they're gonna get caught when I hem anyway, so I don't need to keep them around. Let me know what you think of these shorts. They were super easy to sew up and I am really, really excited about this. My favorite part is the fact that it has that, that gusset so that I don't have that seam, you know, rubbing against my skin and it makes it super comfortable to wear all day, um, undergarments and everything like that. Um, so I'm excited to make a few more of these. All right, so I'm going to top stitch that by simply placing it right on there and just top stitching that seam down, placing that seam allowance towards the bottom of the pants. All right, once I trim all these threads here, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's nice and top stitched and on the outside, Looks good. All right, friends, I am done with these shorts and they turned out so well. They fit really, really nicely. They're super comfortable. The waistband, it's really, really nice to have that wide waistband here. There's no seam at the front, so that makes it really comfortable. And the gusset being lined, it's really nice. Just wanted to come by and say hello. Uh, the gusset being lined makes it really nice because then you don't have those seams touching your skin, which I love. Um, right now I'm wearing it with this uh, Carmen uh, cami, which pairs really well for just like lounging around the house or for um, making it under dresses, for undergarments and such. But these will also will, will, work, will, 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 will work really nicely if you are going to work out or something like that because they are super comfy. I really do love them. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, go grab your patterns and come back and sew them up with me and I'll see you all next time. Bye!